السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. My name is Zainab Abdullahi and inshallah today we will be talking on the month of Safar. Um, the month of Safar is well known for bringing bad luck and misfortunes and nothing can remove bad luck and misfortunes except almsgiving and supplications to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his traditional supplication for seeking his um, protection and also guidance against Satan. And Sayyid al-Muhaddis al faith and other scholars have mentioned that if you wish, if you desire to be saved from misfortunes and also bad deeds in this month, you may say the following supplicatory play, prayer 10 times a day. And the supplicatory prayer is as follows. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ya Shadid al Kuwa, wa Ya Shadid al Mihal. Ya Aziz, Ya Aziz, Ya Aziz. Zalat Azmatika Jami, U Khalikika. Fak Fini Shara Khalikika. Ya Muhsin, Ya Mujmil, Ya Mun Im, Ya Mufdilu. Ya La Ilaha Illa Anta. Subhanaka Inni Kuntu Mina Zalimin. Fasta Jabna Lahu, Wana Jaina, Humina Lagami, Wakazali Kanunjil Mu'minin. Wasallallahu ala Muhammadin wa ala hitaibin at Bahirin. Some scholars have um, agreed that while the month of Safar is called Safar, um, maybe it is because the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam departed life in this holy month. And some are saying maybe because it follows the two um, general months which are the Zulhijjah and Al Muharram. And it is popularly known that battle is forbidden in these two months. And now the door of battle has opened in Al Muharram, um, where the battle of Karbala occurred. And maybe that is why some scholars have said it is called the month of Safar. So now, inshallah, we will go into what and what and what happened in the month of Safar, and we are going to briefly discuss them. Um, on the first day of Safar, the battle of Sifin also broke out, and according to some narrations, on this day, the head of Imam Hussein, the chief of Madras, entered the city of Damascus, the capital of the Umayyad rulers, and on spare heads after it had been carried to it from Al Kufa, that is um, Iraq. Therefore, the Umayyad betook that day. Um, now we will be going into what happened on the third of Safar. And here we have Sayyid Ibn Tawus writes down on the authority of the book of some Imamiya scholars that is recommended on the thought of Safar to offer a two-unit prayer at the first of which Surah Al-Fatiha and Surah al fatih should be recited um, and at the second prayer Surah Al-Fatiha and also, and also Surah al tawhid should be recited. After accomplishment, invocation of blessing upon the Holy Prophet and his household should be said and also invocation of course upon the Umayyad and imploration of forgiveness repeated should be repeated 100 times and so also after all that one may pray for granting his need the invocation of course upon the umayyad and so also the invocation of course upon the umayyad should be in the following form which is allahumma la'an abu sufyan and so also according to the opinions of al shahid and al kaf I mean, Imam Al Hassan Al Mujtaba alayhi salam was martyred on the seventh of Safar. As for the two sheikhs, Imam Hassan alayhi salam was martyred on the twenty eighth of Safar. And so also on the seventh of Safar, Imam Musa Tabini Jafar Al Qazim was born at Al Abwa, a place between Makkah and Medina. Also, also on this month of Safar, Imam Ali Arida departed life, and so also the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam also depart life, and so also in this holy month of Safar, traveling should be avoided, and also wedding ceremonies should also be avoided, and it is also said by some scholars, alms giving should be given on at Thursdays and also Friday. Even if it is by a half of date or any other thing you have, you should always give almsgiving and also supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he may forgive you your sins and he should also abide you by 
the misfortunes and also bad things that are in this holy month of Safar. Inshallah, we will be stopping here for today. 